So we talked about the classification, right? Uh, just as a recap, classification, you get a document and you're trying to say which category does it fall into, right? Blog post, do they like us, do they hate us? Email, is it ham or spam? Uh, D is a vector of words and phrases, TF, IDF weights, blah, 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 blah. Now, um, if you're building a search engine, could we do the same thing for retrieval, right? Could you use the same mechanism to predict if the document is going to be relevant or non-relevant, right? You got a query, you got a set of documents. Can we learn to classify documents into relevant and non-relevant information, right? So maybe we can use something like, um, you know, cl clicks as surrogates for, for relevant and non-relevant examples, right? So um, can we do it? And the answer is, it's been tried in the standard way for many, many, for many, many years, and it never works. And the reason that it never works is that the feature set that you're using here is wrong. It's a feature set that doesn't allow you to learn effectively. Now, why is that? Basically, what I'm saying is I can't use words and phrases as components of my vector. I could use them here, but I can't use them to predict relevance. Why is that? Uh, the reason for that is when you're predicting a small number of classes, some features will bear positive weights, some features will bear negative weights. Right? So if you're detecting sentiment, some, some words indicate that they love us, some words indicate that they hate us, and you're just learning an optimal combination of those words. Now, when you're doing retrieval, Different words are positive and negative for different queries, right? You don't have a fixed set of classes. In classification, you have a fixed set of classes. In retrieval, you have an infinite number of queries. So, and each query has its own definition of what's relevant and what's non-relevant. So you cannot use words and phrases because uh, they, would, they would basically conflict with each other, right? So, uh, something like Obama, it would be in, an indicator of relevance for one query, but it would indicate non-relevance for another query. So you could only classify documents for one particular information need, for one particular query. Right? Uh, so what are you going to do? Are you going to learn a separate classifier for every query out there? Right? Good luck. Even, uh, so even if you're Google, you can't do anything like that. Uh, that that's an ill-posed problem. Uh, too many queries, too many classes, too much, too little training data, even on the web. Um, so the solution is to transform the feature set, to come up with a different feature set X that would be consistent along all sorts of queries. So basically, your previous classifier, in text classification, your input was D and the output was yes or no. Now, your input is going to be some feature set defined over the cross product of documents and queries. And the output is still going to be yes or no, relevant or non-relevant. But the feature set has to be different. It has to be independent of any query. So the features x that I use must be equally good for any query that, uh, that, that you issue. So what are those features? Well, we've actually seen a bunch of them. Right? So BM25 score, TF-IDF weighted sum. It's a feature. It's a number. You can take a document, query, computer TF IDF weighted sum. It is a number. Right? Use that number as a feature. We know that it's a good retrieval function. It's better for some queries, worse for others. But in general, it's pretty damn good. Right? So use it as a feature. What else do we have? Page rank. It's great for some queries. Totally wrong for other queries. But that's a feature. It indicates relevance or non-relevance. It correlates with it to some degree. So uh, anchor text, you could just take the query, count the number of query terms in the anchor text. That is another feature. Right? So anything that we've discussed up until point in this course is potentially a feature that you can include in X. 